still there? Yeah. Okay, you're like faded out real weirdly. Yeah, the, the headset has been doing that occasionally. I don't know what's going on, but we oh. are going to be seeing an Inkling coming up versus Vivi's hero. So, Inkling versus hero. I think... I think it makes sense for Vivi to go hero in this matchup over uh, Lucario. I just feel like, you know, Hero's going to have a much better time of keeping Inkling out, uh, you know, with the sword hitboxes and everything. But, wow, Nasra is just playing amazing with the, uh, the splatter shot right now. I'm loving the way that uh, it's kind of using it sort of like a, a faux, like, Falco laser up close to just kind of poke you and mess up your timing. We're seeing it work out really well for for him so for her so far. Uh is hmm? sitting at 93. Oh, okay. Alright. I got so pronoun. Booyah, and there it is, BB gonna be losing stock one. Coming down with Kaboom, not able to find it though. Gonna have to find some other way to get uh Nazareth's first stock. Trying to space out with the back airs. And Vivi just running back, trying to find some room. We haven't seen them uh, get too much room to get some menu, but as I say that, that is Psych Up and Oomph. So Nazar cannot be shielding anything right now. Ooh, but doesn't have to, just able to find these hits so well. Bang, not going to be doing it quite yet, though. Good uh, air dodge coming out from Nazra. You can tell from the way Nazra is moving that she is actually reading Hero's menu very actively. Mm hmm. Like, she's not just recognizing that the menu's open, she's reading the menu. Which is something that's very important when you're fighting Hero, because, you know, if Hero opens up the menu and you don't see, like, Sizz, Sizzle or Kaboom, you can kind of just make a frontal approach on them. Yeah, I mean, a lot of, and even then, a lot of Hero's, like, offensive menu spells, they, they kind of cover Ooh. mostly a similar, a similar space directly in front of them. Yes. Ooh, we've seen another, I think, didn't quite get the first hit of the up air. Vivi going to be living a little bit longer, but another forward air sending them off stage. Heal is not saving you. Maybe Vivi tried to heal their stocks. Maybe. <laughs> that reminds me of a funny joke that people were thinking about. Uh, if Ness absorbs Hero's whack that would have killed him, he gets a stock back. <laughs> They should, they should, they should patch that in. Oh, they should. <laughs> but Ness is not on the screen. It's Inkling, who everyone forgets is in the game, except me. I'm very glad she's in the game. Me too. I remember being like super excited when when the Inkling was announced. Same here. I made her for, I made her quite literally for half a year, and then realized she was low tier trash. <laughs> All right, so V bringing things to an even game. Uh, low MP, though, meaning Nazara potentially going to be finding some more openings right now. Kind of almost pancaking completely under that frizz. VV does have the bounce on now, meaning Nazara not going to be able to use that splatter shot for a little bit, nor the uh, splat bombs. But right now, just laying on the melee pressure, just coming in with all these hitboxes. And... Uh, Correctly stalling out that bounce, and now Nazar gets to play the ledge trap game, which is where Inkling really shines. Hold up, though. Oh my god! Oh, you're bold for it. That was like less than 5%, but still. <laughs> if it worked, I would have lost it. No, it would have been. Actually, it would have been more like uh, 15%, but still. Oh my god. No! Oh my god. That's it another. That's another instance that makes me think Nazra is reading the menu. Mm -hmm. Like she saw Susan got out, got the hell out of dodge there. <laughs> Nazra really looking for this kill, but up tilt, up tilt will yeah. kill. But so, but so will forward air. So will squid forward air. That was a great game, Jesus. That was a yeah, that was absolutely a great game one. Nazra had. Just so much momentum there in the beginning. Vivi finally started to finally started to find some momentum of their own near the end, but just a little uh, too little too late. Now we're gonna see bands were Town and City and Kalos. Definitely oh. great bands for this particular matchup. You know, definitely don't want to see Vivi running to the other side of the stage and.
perusing the menu at their leisure, trying to get as many buffs as they can. Perusifying. The... All right, now that I've done all the housekeeping, I can actually talk in this next game. And VB is going to be sticking with the hero. Three, two, into PS2 as our game two, which, you know, definitely you know, compared to Small Battlefield, VB is still going to be getting a little bit more room to uh, to get into that menu and find some, find some cool stuff. Indeed, I'm sure that's why they chose it. And two big stages, there's still one, one to go. So the best thing to do is to leave the one big stage open that you're most comfortable playing on. <laughs> okay. So this is a uh, running theme about Inkling, but one of the biggest challenges Inkling has had to overcome in this game's meta is how to deal with opponents who jump a lot. Because all of Inkling's biggest play... Nice down here. Oh my god. One of All of Inkling's like biggest playmakers, jab, grab, roller, bomb, splatter shot, they're kind of just beaten by jumping a lot. Which is sort of how the meta's been progressing as the game's gone on. This game has sort of become jump simulator, as some people call it. <laughs> Wow, that was a great whip punish. Oh my god. Ooh, and able to find the stock out of it. Help. <laughs> okay, the tiniest little bang. All it takes. Respawn bang. Yeah, bang is surprisingly powerful. You really yeah. wouldn't think it, just how small and slow it is. It means it's more compact. Full of delicious energy. But no, the worth of an inkling is definitely judged on how well they can deal with the jumping opponent. And I'd say Najara is doing a great job, like, working around it. Absolutely. Uh, definitely, you know, finding Vivi's landing... Oh, okay, that was jab. I was like, how are you How are you splattershotting them? They have bounce. Thank God that's not a projectile. <laughs> okay, I like the empty landing there from Vivi, but not able to find the up tilt. Still sitting at even percent right now, but Nazra low on the resource of her own. If you get in the accelerottle though, so all of the speed that Inkling has doesn't quite matter that much anymore. Vivi is gonna be to the other side of the stage whenever they want. You know it. Oh, oh! <laughs> Vivi's. I, this yeah. is more like wax and thwax that, that I've seen VB throw out than like any other set so far. Hey, I respect it. Like, if you're dealing with a character that's moving around this much, why not throw out the uh, the insta kill move? They might yeah. walk into it. Yeah, I mean, especially a character like Inkling that really likes to be up close and in your face. Like, all right, you want to approach? Approach into this giant wall of necrotic energy. She's got all the movement of Falcon, none of the kill power. Up tilt. We do it quite yet, but we do have Accelerado on deck and Psyche. I don't think up throw will kill just yet, but any one hit puts Ooh. her in up, up throw range. Forward air almost doing it. Oh, Vivi takes heal and not Psyche. And no, no. Vivi! Oh, tragic. Heal not going to be saving you from that. Sizzle. Accelerado. Just outside of these sizzle ranges, Vivi. I have to find some other way to find this stock. Gets the bounce, is like, all right, I have, I am cleared to run through this splat bomb. Hey, there's no harm in just opening up the menu if the opponent's not going to approach you, you know? Absolutely. For some reason, Najira was refusing to approach, so BB is just like, hmm, I'm going to read that menu. That being said, BB is starting on low MP here. I say as they hit, their shield, hit her shield and get, like, half their bar back. Yeah. One shield hit, one jab. Jab string, that's that's a good 30 mana. All right, it's anyone's game here. I'd love to see another game of this, but... Yep, even oh. stocks. Wow, the latest hit of Woosh. That was so active. All right, big damage. Oh, whoa! That was so sneaky. Oh. How did Nazra get there? That is the classic right there, <laughs> using the splat bomb to obscure your moves. The smoke screen. You don't even do that in Splatoon. That's, that's just the Smash original right there. Ooh. Not able to find the kaboom, and that's a big MP commitment from Vivi. Up Only there. 20 now. I don't think up. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, this oh, could be no. it. It's absolutely going to be it. Now they're taking it over it. to over Vivi. Very nice. Very exciting set, to be sure. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There we go. For some reason, my replay buttons. Oh, this was the boom. <laughs> For some reason, the uh, replay button is not working for me sometimes. 
I want to see. I think. Uh, I didn't get the last kill. Oh, we didn't get the. Uh... Sorry. The button. The button press didn't register uh, for me. I see. Well, maybe it's here. Okay, it's on the fist bump replay. Boom. Yeah, we saw Vivi going for that mash. I think. I think. It, it was hard to tell in the player camp, but I think they had the, the the stick rotation kind of mash going. It's kind of hard to do that, like, on moves that aren't Rob's down throw because you're not expecting it to happen when it happens. Yeah, yeah.